Today I'd like to give you a little bit of a background on how I create my paintings. This little piece is called Winter Companions and it really all begins with a line drawing or something that's called a cartoon. And I simply uh, gather the inspiration. I take my watercolor paper. Today I'm working on an Archer's watercolor paper. And I begin to sketch out the composition. So here it is, the background, and here's what it looks like completed. Quite a contrast. So let me give you some tips on how I create my watercolor paintings. I take advantage of friskets. This is a little uh, one that I use. It's almost like a rubber cement that you paint down. And what it does is it preserves the white of the paper because I want to have a real loose and spontaneous background to my piece. I want to protect certain areas. So with that dry, you can see now I'm blocking in. I'm really loading up the paper with this wet on wet technique, painting around specific things in the foreground. And it's really almost abstract in lots of different qualities. Here's a good example of how it resists. Now once it dries, I come back on and I begin to add some of the details of the fir trees, working it in and around uh, the birds. And then once that's completed, I will remove the frisket, peeling it off, coming back to the white of the paper, and begin to handle these delicate washes of the snow on the bow of the tree. Watercolors is a magical medium, but what really makes it magical is using the white of the paper. So here you see the brilliance of that coming through and once again begin to pull off making allowances for this little um, area in the foreground. Now with all these multitude of washes, I'm going to give you a glimpse of what the bird looks like completed and then we'll come back and show it as I take you through the opposite side. Here's the female on the other side of the painting, once again completed, but now I'm going to come back and I'm going to remove the frisket so that you can see how I approach it. Um, using like the, the white of the paper, there's basically two techniques. I mean, it really is simple for those that, that are artists, and one is painting on wet paper and the other is on dry paper. Anything where the edge is hard, it gives you an idea that your technique typically is on dry paper. And then when you see soft edges, you have to wet it. So it is layering that up time and time again, taking one little aspect of the painting and then sort of doing it and working it around this female cardinal. Here I begin to do some of the undertones. I work with a variety of paints, but some of my favorites are uh, actually American Journey by uh, Joe Miller, but I also use a lot of Winsor Newton. I enjoy his brushes. I typically work from a number two to a number seven. Those are the dominating sizes in the painting. So between the abstract qualities of doing the underwashes for the bird it's just a matter of timing and building up these layers that give such a, a brilliant realism. And watercolors is what really sort of allows you to do that. My career began back with a 59 cent tray when I was at college. And today I've created over 3,000 paintings in watercolors. North Carolina is my native state and it just abodes uh, subject matter year round. Uh, this lovely pair of cardinals actually I discovered in my own backyard. So it's been a privilege to sort of share these techniques, the background, how it all the steps, and then ultimately you sign off and that's how it comes about. Winter Companions. Please take a look at more of my work and you can sign in and find it at williammangum.com. Thanks for looking. Bye.